It's large, it's all-consuming, and it's terrorizing our community. It's a big back epidemic, and it's spreading quickly. I'm here in front of Mary's Soul Food, asking restaurant goers why they are invested in foods that are clearly destroying lives. Me and my girl, we live down the street, so you know, convenient. Uh, does your girlfriend come here too? Um, no, no. I only come here when me and her, you know, getting into it, so. But the daily specials here is fire. Americans are in denial about their fat intake, confused about what actually counts as a cheat day meal or just poor decision making. Uh, to be honest, you know, I don't like to eat that much, that much, you know what I'm saying, unless I'm having a bad day or I got to treat myself, you know, so that's all. How many bad days a week is that? I'm sorry? How many bad days would you say? On every street corner in black communities is a new restaurant, a fake grass wall, and menus layered with grease, sugar, and bottles of whatever is left in the fridge. To be honest, the food isn't even all that good here. The only things that I get is the mac and cheese, the fried bacon, egg and cheese, the honey dipped wings. Oh, and they have this fire oxtail bun burger. Oh my gosh. Ooh, and I don't know if y'all ever tried their fried fish. They got some really good fried fish. And they got like collard greens and mashed potatoes all in a platter. And I was starting to think that there was no hope in sight until I stumbled upon one last onlooker. Yeah, you know, I had to turn my life around. Places like this, no good for the community, you know. My family, they, they got me in a rehab center. Lost 100 pounds. Got a gym membership. Um, you know, and life is gravy now, no pun intended. But yeah, things back then, no, they were simpler though, you know. McDonald's, Chinese food and shit. Mm. And what are your feelings on the restaurant funneling free food to community? To doing what now? They're handing out candied ribs to the whole block today. That's really crazy. Why would they do that? The government needs to step in. Yeah. Barack and Michelle don't ever let this shit slide. Yeah. Mm. Good words. Good words. And it's definitely a concern to be raised at this year's election. I'm Lisa Martin, and this is PFC News. What's going on? What's 100 pounds, you know? It's, it's, it's a peak day, you know? Yeah.